the YouTube channel. So today we are going to start a new chapter known as Solar Family. So in the past few videos we have uh, covered solar structure, solar atmosphere and various solar parameters and uh, such as sunspot, uh, solar flare etc. So in this video we are going to start the new chapter known as Solar Family. So here we will discuss the basic uh, introduction of solar system, planets and, and a few other things. So let's start the video. So let's discuss some basic background ideas of our solar system. So our solar system mainly consists of sun, planets, satellites, comets, asteroids, dust rocks and many other little things. So the planets in our solar system in the increasing order of their distance from the sun are this. So here in this uh, beautiful picture you can see how the planets, different planets are situated at a different distance from the sun. So the planets in our solar system are classified into two types and these are terrestrial planets and Zovian planets. So the sizes of the first four planets that is Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars are similar to that of our Earth and so they are called terrestrial planets. Whereas the, whereas the sizes of the next four planets that is Jupiter, Uranus, Saturn and Neptune are bigger than our Earth and so they are called Zovian planets. And our Pluto is somewhere between terrestrial and Zobayan. Now the, now the properties of the terrestrial and Zobayan planets are quite different. For example, terrestrial planets uh, that is Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars, they are mainly made of rocks and metals having an average density of 4 to 5 gram per centimeter. Cube. Whereas our Zobayan planets that is Uranus, Jupiter, Saturn and Neptune, they are mainly consist of gas and ice with a less lesser density. They have an average density of 1 or 2 gram per centimeter cube. So other members of our solar system are asteroids and these are believed to be captured objects which were randomly wandering in the solar system. So these are random rocky objects uh, asteroids are and they were normally wandering randomly in the entire universe and once they came into the gravitational field of our sun they got captured and their objects are, and their orbits are mostly located in between the orbits of mars and jupiter so since all the planets revolve around the sun so our sun is considered the head of the solar family and in addition the sun contains almost 99.87 almost all the mass of our solar system and among the planets, Jupiter and Saturn are most massive, accounting for 92% of the mass of all other planets. So, you can, is for, so just for example, we can fit approximately 1300 hours in Jupiter. So, you can imagine how large Jupiter is. The table of, so these are the basic differences between terrestrial and Zoban planets. So, basic form of terrestrial planets are rocky, whereas Zobayan are gas, liquid and ice. And mean orbital distance for terrestrial planets are 0 0.39 to 1.5 to astronomical unit, whereas for Zobayan planet it is 5.2 to 30.1 astronomical unit. The mean temperature of terrestrial planets are 200 to 700 Kelvin, mean surface temperature, and that for Zobayan are 75 to 170 Kelvin. So terrestrial planets are nearer to the sun, so they, they have comparatively higher temperature than the Zobayan planets. So they, these are relatively, so these are, their masses are uh, more or less similar to that of the earth, whereas Zobayan planets are quite massive than earth. The radio, equatorial radius of terrestrial planets are near about same as our earth, whereas Zobayan planets are quite large, so their mean density are lies between 3.96 to 5.48 gram per centimeter cube, whereas Zobayan planets are less denser. So, so this is a very important point that all the, so this is a very important point that not a single terrestrial planet has ring, whereas most of the Zobayan planets have their own rings. So this is for today's video, we hope that you have enjoyed it, so thank you for watching this video.